Meme review. What's going on, smart people? Bringing you another physics meme review. Today I'm changing things up a little bit. I usually go through the physics meme subreddit. Today I'm going through Grand Unified Physics Memes Facebook page. One of the moderators reached out. I figured, yeah, that'd be a cool change of pace. Let's do that. I think that they also have a subreddit, so I'll leave links to all that stuff in the description. I don't frequent Facebook pages very much, so if I'm not going through them in a very good way, just let me know in the comments and I'll fix it next time. But let's just jump right into it. I saw the first one, I didn't laugh, so instead of pretending like I didn't, let's just go to the second one. Uh, the proof of this theorem, which is presented in the excellent book by Landau and Lifshitz, oh, yeah, they only had one, right? Uh, oh, mechanics. The proof is incorrect. Impossible. Infinity War, or Endgame Part 2, there we go. I like this comment right here, <laughs> contradiction by proof. That's funny. Also, a little bit of a disclaimer, there's hella construction going on outside uh, my apartment. The noise is out of my control, so if you hear people just like throwing rocks at walls, you know, <laughs> I, I, there's nothing I can really do. Okay, next. Space-time geodesics, observer, black hole. That, that's actually a pretty good analogy. I don't, I mean, it's not really a meme, I guess, but that's, that's pretty cool. I like that, I like that. <laughs> What if we kissed into synchrotron beam line? Oh my god, that'd be so crazy. We're not gonna do it, that'd be too crazy. Should we do it? We should do it. Uh, no, that's a small meme. L, V, L, -V oh, L, Y, Yang Mills, the drawing gene. And then, is that a K? No, Q, E, D, oh, okay, I'm you. That would have been a very funny meme, but it's way too small. Uh, David, J DJ Griffiths, physics students, great textbooks. I agree with that, except for lose the S on textbooks. I mean, E and M, his E and M book, that's a national treasure. I want that to be buried with me. But the quantum mechanics book is kind of garbage a little bit. Like I, it was fine when I was going through undergrad because that was the only book I knew of for undergrad qu quantum mechanics. It just it didn't age well. Now I'm definitely a Sakurai boy. But maybe that's not fair because it's more or less that's a graduate book, I guess. Uh, he also has a particle physics book, I think, but I haven't read that one. Maybe that's this, maybe that's deserves the S at the end of textbooks. I don't know. First year saying they'll take string theory. Second year saying they'll take string theory. Third year and you still want to do string theory. You're looking like a bit of a clown. I don't know if I agree with that because I, I don't know string theory. I feel like honestly, a bit of a secret. I don't think anyone who makes memes about string theory actually knows it. It's so hard. It's, you know something's hard when it should when it's simplified case reduces to a quantum field theory. I, I don't know. It's above me, man. Uh, me having watched Steingate, my supervisor with a PhD in GR. I think we all know who knows more. Who's more qualified? Sit down. Putting your physics training in context, lawful good. We got Maxwell's equations. Uh, <laughs> what's been a bit of a crisis for me lately is like speaking of Griffiths. B in Griffith's Maxwell's equations is electric or magnetic field. B in Jackson E and M is magnetic induction, and H is the magnetic field. Where I think Griffiths calls it like the auxiliary field or something like that. That, that that's a little bit confusing. It's gonna take some getting used to. But I see path integral. I like. Okay, and then time dilation, all that other stuff. Uh, you're living in a fantasy. There's no Easter Bunny. There's no Tooth Fairy. And there's no Graviton. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's funny about that is like, so in my own research, I'm doing stuff with the energy momentum tensor in the context of uh, quantum field theory. And every paper that I've had to read always front loads it with GR quantum gravity sounding things. I don't know if it's like the physics journal equivalent of clickbait or whatever, but then three pages later, they stop talking about it and just focus on the quantum field theory. I don't get it, man. Because at first I'm like, I have no idea what this paper is saying. And I'm like, oh, okay. You just wanted to talk about GR for a little bit. I got you. General Rel General Relativity. <laughs> okay, that one's really, it's so stupid. Uh. <laughs> Flat galactic rotation curve exists. Mond boys. What's Mond? It's like, um... Is it modified Newtonian dynamics? Do you even believe in modified gravity? I guess it's something like that. Uh, it looks as if I'm orbiting a black hole. What is this, Comic Sans? It looks like I'm orbiting a black hole at close to the speed of light at three Schwarzschild radii. It appears it is time to spaghetti. Italian right hand rule. That's, that's some stupid shit that flammable maths would laugh at. 
Well, actually, no, it didn't mention fugacity, so probably not. Uh, we got the invariant space-time interval. You're weak. Invariant space-time interval in a different frame. <laughs> I'm you. Roasted. Self-roast. My face when I referenced 70 plus papers to justify a new experimental <clears throat> sorry, new experimental method, but my advisors tell me find a paper that did exactly what you described so I know that it works. Is that how you spell advisors? Oops, I've been spelling that wrong my entire time in grad school. Um, matter, antimatter, actually unbalanced. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. These are good, man. I'm like, I like. These are really good. I like how I've gone through however many so far, and there hasn't been a single engineering one or approximation one. It's a nice change of pace. Uh, this is sexy. So we've got Einstein's field equations. This is not. We've got Newton's equation. Real gravity theories have curves. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, underground with a 4.0 CGPA. Is that cumulative? Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. Introduction to electrodynamics, there's nothing about this I understand. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I, I agree with this. I don't get it. Griffiths is such an easy book to understand. Well, maybe not necessarily easy. It, it's, it's just as good as it could be, right? I mean, it's still electrodynamics, but, you know. I pity your wife if you think Griffiths is hard to I love when the comments are like funnier than the meme. Dad, why the fuck are you crying so damn loud? Solving the Einstein field equations for the Schwarzschild metric. That's not too bad. Uh, the born inter the born interpretation. I feel like you call it, could have used like the born approximation too. But also, I think I've seen that one. Maybe you just wanted to be more original. Vibrations and strings. Okay, small brain. <laughs> Simple harmonic oscillator, slightly big brain. Simple harmonic oscillator with small angle approximation. I can't compete with that, to be honest. If, if Kelly leaves me for someone who does that, I understand. Actually, I encourage it. Strings in string theory to explain harmonic oscillator and the whole universe. <sighs> That's a little too big brain. I can't even appreciate how big brain that is. Fire force. <laughs> we live in a society, okay quality shit most. Uh, me back from Area 51 knowing the solution of Yang Mill's problem and the mass gap. Uh, when an experimentalist gives you laser power measurement in units of decibels per decimeter per Lorentzian line width per squared graphene sheet surface potential. <laughs> I was waiting for the instead of. Excuse me, what the f <laughs> That was so funny. <laughs> This, this page is, is really good. I'm digging this. Einstein, unstable cosmological model with gravitational collapse. Cosmological constant. <laughs> there we go. Uh, ZZ Top. Oh, I guess I need the caption. What's your favorite decay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so good. Like, every normally when I go over the physics meme subreddit, it's like... For every meme that I go over, I skip like five because it's just, hey, small angles, or hey, engineer. I, I know that there was a small angle joke in there before, but it's like every other one in the in the subreddit. Uh, so we got the wave function. Is this, uh, I don't know who this is, but I'm assuming this is a Slater determinant. So this guy's name must be Slater. Give me that heart tree fog. Oh God, it's giving me more flashbacks to atomic physics. 11-dimensional supergravity, M-theory at Witten, uh, <laughs> 95 strings conference screaming. I heard Witten doesn't do string theory anymore? Is that true? Is your space infested with time? Yes, probably. <laughs> Alberto. <laughs> what the hell? Like, some of these are just weird. I do, I gotta show this page if, to Flammable Maths if, if he doesn't already follow this because I think some of these he think is funny. It's hard predicting what he'll laugh at because it's like ones that I'm just like, I don't get it. And I think that's what just makes him laugh sometimes. A tensor is an object that transforms as a tensor. That sounds like a good explanation to me. Uh, you can make everyone happy. I think anyone will understand if you just reference it in terms of like a multilinear transformation. And then it's like, honestly, physics students would probably get that more. And then mathematicians will just know what you're talking about. 
Uh, the whole business is strange. A tensor is okay. Okay. Ah, yes. Enslaved core. <laughs> okay. Uh, string theory community in 1995. Written. Unified. I've never gone through, what are those, they're called like exotic groups or something like that? I, mean, I don't really know anything about those. SO32, gravitational lensing of the Squidward Galaxy by dark matter in front of it. Uh, mom, can we have, so what do we got here? What is this? So we got mu plus, mu minus, I guess it's the Higgs. Oh, okay. No, we got the, oh, okay, fair enough. That's funny, we spent a good amount of time talking about that, that uh, decay process in high energy physics the other day. I'm a bit concerned about this meme. Get out of here. <laughs> Me coming home from Area 51 knowing the general solution to the Navier-Stokes equations. Master of fluids. We'll assume Einstein's field equations. Me, an intellectual. Ooh. I like to picture someone who is like, you know it'd be funny? A meme where it's like someone who takes the, the equations as a postulate and then another person who like derives them here let me let me do an entire latex document deriving them real quick it'd be so funny it'd be wild we should totally kiss in the secret chart beam line it's a free index what is this if when you're using einstein's summation convention and the letter shows up only once yeah ah yes and it's late. i don't get this meme very much but it's popping up everywhere i think i'm only gonna do a little bit more i gotta go to a meeting in a little bit hamiltonian Nah, F equals MA. What you think of when telling non-physicists you took classical mechanics versus what you think you actually took as a sophomore. That's true. Classical mechanics is a humbling experience because everything that you solve is like so easy to picture in your head. And when you tell someone about it, you have to like, no, I promise it's really complicated. Like spinning a top is hard. Uh, friendship ended with Nambugato. Now Polkiev, Polyakov. I should know how to pronounce this. I've had to read like two of the papers, two of his papers already. He's my best friend. That was actually one of the ones where I was talking about how it was energy momentum and then forcing gravity in there. Um, friends have ended with Newton. Now Lagrange is my best friend. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Okay. Freshman me telling my advisor that I want to unify gravity and quantum mechanics for my senior thesis. The advisor knowing I flunked intro physics. <laughs> Oh God, it's so me. I didn't flunk intro physics, but I think those words kind of came out of my mouth that string theory was where I wanted to go. It's probably a good place to stop. I hope you guys enjoyed the physics meme review. I'm definitely gonna come back to this one. I think I enjoyed this more than the mo more recent uh, physics memes on this physics meme subreddit. Let me know in the comments if I should do their subreddit next or whatever. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you did, and I'll see you guys there.